everyone this is me amanpreet co founder of amrit palo vision earlier to this we had many interviews of mechanical engineer but today we have a student with a background of computer engineer viranesha so let us listen his story why he is deciding to study in germany data science from fau erlangen university hi viranesh hello ma'am so virana tell us something about yourself so hello guys my name is viranesh and i am residing from uh, banswada rajasthan so i am basically a pass out of uh, computer engineering from gujarat technical university with a uh, 8 cgpa so what made you to decide for studying in germany so basically after i finished my studies from in btech i was uh, searching for jobs and due to less opportunities of job in india in here or in uh, in the in my field with lots of aspirants going for jobs i was very tense so i started looking for higher studies and for higher studies i got many options from canada to australia to america to germany and i tried searching everywhere about where i can get many uh, good opportunities with more benefits so from there on and on and on i got to germany so there i finalized that i have to do masters in germany okay so you have decided the program that is data science so why you have decided that program what made you to decide that program you could also go for the other options uh, like computer science and cyber security or artificial intelligence but why you have chosen particularly data science for your masters okay so first of all i would like to tell you that uh, computer science is a broad field right. and not only it includes a uh, cyber security other than data science and many other aspects of uh, computer we see and use in our daily life so i was confused between uh, cyber security which was my earlier field i have done many uh, projects i have done many hackathons and i have done many projects on it even my last year project uh, was on it and then after that i understand the use of data data we use it every day from being it digital to our corporate data to personal data to our physical data which we store every day like uh, storage data like shopping list and uh, many things which we write uh, to remember hmm. now there is a plenty of data if i can tell you there are petabytes zettabytes of data which are more than 10 to the power 23 zeros and more than that and every day we generate more and more data so how can we manage this data so for that i understood the use of data science because data science uses the modeling to the cut off data to use the data precisely and to show us the results for our particular usage that's why i fix with the data science wow you have a great knowledge on data science definitely you will succeed in your masters okay so uh, why you have selected this particular university fau erlangen what find uh, you what did you find the most about this university actually i have researched about fau erlangen nuremberg and according to me it's one of the best universities which i can find in germany due to its research aspect it has more than uh, 3500 research staff and it is the germany's biggest research institute which we can say okay. so for the on the sake of research which a data science requires most i was stick to fau erlangen and uh, comparing it to other uh, institutes i was not uh, not sure with other institutes as they will not provide me so much of exposure to data science and a uh, theoretical approach with practical applications so that's why i use uh, i go with fau fau like oh, great okay so now you are staying in rajasthan and amrit palo vision is in amdabad so did you find any difficulties contacting us or uh, like what Have have you ever find any difficulties that uh, was very important for you to reach us and we were not available at any time? First of all, I would like to tell you that Amrit Palo Vision, it's like a family to me. I will say it truly and honestly that these people they are never uh, they will never make you feel like you are someone outside or you are someone from uh, other state or other uh, country even because they have. students from all over the world which i can say and i have experienced and the service or the feedback or guides they provide me they are fantastic 
I can say I can call them any time. I can ask their guidance at any time, any time of the day. They will always reply me with a positive attitude and a good aura. So I was really, really impressed with their service. That's why I, I go with Amritpal. Thank you so much. Thank you. So how did you came in contact with Amritpal? Actually, I was searching for consultancies after I fixed that I wanted to go to Germany. I couldn't go it on my own because I have never done it and I have no connections in relatives or anyone who have gone to abroad even for studies or any work. So I was looking for consultancies, someone who can guide me what to do, exactly how to do it and what are your mistakes which you can do. So they can guide me further uh, earlier to not make it. Right. I have applied for many consultancies, I have uh, written and given my information to many of them, many have reverted me back, I have uh, got an interview with many of them but I never feel that uh, aura and positive attitude with them because all they were about was uh, the universities that were paid because the, there was some sort of connection with the universities and the agents right. but when I connected with Amritpal and when I joined the seminars when I get a one-on-one -on -one interview with Aman ma'am presented here yeah. I really thought that Amritpal is the one who can guide me to make my dream possible to visit Germany so that's why I was going with Amritpal. Right. So, uh, you already have six plus offer letters with you. Yeah. So, what do you think like when we started the counselling for the first time, uh, yes, we were definitely uh, were sure that we could get one. But now as you have already six plus offer letters from all the public universities, yeah. so what guidance you wanted to tell to the students and what tips you wanted to tell to the students? So for students, I must tell you that I was very depressed and I was kind of low on my end because many of the consultancies and many people told me that because of my profile, I would not get, in, get any admission in any of the universities or any job in abroad or anywhere else in the world. So I was kind of stuck with this in my mindset. But when I met ma'am, when I have a one-on-one -on -one conversation, when she saw my profile, she told me and she motivated me that you, uh, that you are perfect for the Germany. So you should apply and you should try to get an interview uh, and application, ap apply to uh, the German universities. Okay, so what kind of services you got from Amrit Palavision? So first of all, uh, from scratch, from evaluating my profile to guiding me what to make uh, necessary changes for making your profile looking good and uh, uploadable to German universities, you guided me from that up till now when I am filing for my visa uh, visa, till now you have guided me in everything and told me any uh, everything regarding the application procedure to the fees payment to my profile. Right. So what tips and tricks you wanted to tell to the students who are planning to Germany, do they need to do German language as well. What is your German language levels at the moment, India? Yeah. So as for now, uh, I would say that you should uh, try to learn German because if even your uh, course is English taught for daily life usage, we need German. Like if you are staying in Ahmedabad, it's a Gujarat. So you, you must learn some Gujarati for locals to. Uh, talk on. Connect. So just to connect with the Germans and they are very self, uh, uh, you can like Desh Bhakti So the, uh, those people will only speak German. You Most of our they are professional people who will speak English but you will not find many of them. But right. you will find most of the persons who are speaking German. So you should learn German and as for speaking for me, I am currently pursuing my A2 level with Neeraj ma'am. She is an enthusiastic and best person I can get ever for uh, in uh, German tuition. She uh, she motivated uh, because German is tough. Yeah, I can say that because uh, normally what, what we speak in English and what the grammar we take is they're not same as in German. So that way German is important. Right. Right. So what tips and tricks you would like to give to the students when they have to start planning the application process and what they have to consider it while they're applying for the universities? What kind of extra certification they have to put and what we have helped you in uh, profiling your portfolio? So what tips you would like to give yeah. to the students? First of all, uh, you should have a non-breakable dream to go there. 
because everything depends on you right if you are not motivated enough and if you are not uh, well prepared enough to go move to germany to study or work whatever you want you can't uh, break that F uh, your profile does matter but it matter when you are applying to the university other than that all is your skills because germans and anybody in the world is impressed by your confidence and your uh, knowledge about anything or everything that is uh, included in your profile or your studies so yeah you should uh, pursue some extra curricular activities because germans they are very well uh, i can say structured from garbage distribution to their uh, economy they are very very well structured even their roads uh, clean uh, even the they have five to six different dustbin just for litter which india's the indians don't have yeah. so you should be structured well enough for a for before applying to any german university because you should have make yourself such an uh, up, uh, uploadable to them right that's great so how much would you rate amrit pala version on a scale of 10 where 10 is highest and 0 is worst <laughs> so rating it doesn't count in my perspective because i am here just because of amritpal i was not even thinking about pursuing my dream but what i have come until here it's all because of amritpal and their time to time motivation and their uh, teaching and guide guidance which aman ma'am amritpal sir and everybody is here uh, he helpingly so i can say you are more than then i can say you don't have any rating you are just the best <laughs> right thank you so much and uh, so what do you think like being a consultant or a visa immigration in the visa immigration industry um, we have decided many times about your career counseling so do you think that career counseling as important as applying for the universities and making the visa application and all i do think that career counseling is important because first of all you have to know what you are right you have to know according to your profile what suits you you can't uh, we can't judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree and we can't judge a monkey by ability to, uh, to swim right. so first according to our profile and our mindset and what we are we have to evaluate ourselves and amritpal here they just help you in evaluating yourself because you don't know what you are in a way you know but they structure you in a way to enhance your skills and enhance your inner uh, inner attitude so in a way the it is important to calculate and evaluate yourself and go in a path or a way which is fit for you yes. and your future all right thank you so much viranya thank you ma'am